Most jets fly with two up front. Concorde needed three because it was not just fast, it was unbelievably complex. That third seat, the flight engineer. He did not just monitor dials, he ran entire aircraft systems manually while flying at Mark II. This was not optional, it was essential. At supersonic speed, Concorde's center of gravity shifted constantly. So the flight engineer had to move fuel between tanks manually during the flight to keep the aircraft balanced. Every shift in fuel changed the pitch. It was a ballet of pumps and weight. Then there were the intake ramps, adjustable surfaces that controlled how much air entered the Rolls-Royce Olympus engines. Too much airflow? The engines would choke. So the engineer tweaked the ramps by hand to avoid pressure surges and flameouts. Concorde's skin reached 127 degrees Celsius at cruise. Cabin pressurization was not automatic. The flight engineer managed cooling, bleed air, and cabin differential while juggling engine temperatures and pressurized compartments. One mistake, and you would lose the balance at 60,000 feet. So why did Concorde need a flight engineer? Because at Mach 2, automation could not keep up. It took a human brain, a thousand switches, and constant precision to hold the aircraft together. Speed came at a price, and one man paid it every flight.